Over the past few decades, 3D printing has become an increasingly accessible and transformative tool for many industries, including dentistry. Thanks to innovative materials, improved hardware design and powerful AI-based software applications, we can now produce a wide range of models, prototypes and functional dental appliances. 3D printing has truly become the next logical step for in-house production in modern dental clinics and labs. In this video, I will guide you through step-by-step -step instructions on how to use a 3D printer so you can produce these incredible appliances all by yourself. In our lab, we routinely print various devices, such as this standard quality FDM model, which is ideal for documentation, or this high quality resin model, perfect for planning and executing treatments. But our dental technicians also print splints in a flexible, transparent material, temporary bridges in tooth colored resin, or more advanced prints like this definite crown made from a hybrid material of resin and ceramic. The starting point for any 3D print is an intraoral scan. If you haven't seen our tutorial on intraoral scanning yet, I highly recommend checking it out. The high resolution digital scan captures the patient's dental anatomy and is the basis for our print. The scan can be exported as an STL or PLY file. An STL file is the most commonly used 3D format. It can be read and printed by any 3D software worldwide, just like a PDF. However, the STL file does not contain any color information and is always monochromatic. The PLY format is also commonly used in dentistry, but it includes information about color, transparency and texture, among other things. It helps create your patient's avatar within a virtual planning. But ultimately, the color of the 3D printed object will depend on the selected resin in your printer. A gray resin will print a gray model. I recommend sending a PLY file to the lab. The technician then can decide whether to use the color information. With this data, you can create a digital model using lab software like 3Shape or ExoCAD. Once you're happy with the design, prepare it for 3D printing. This involves exporting the file from the lab to the nesting software. Here you can place the model onto the building platform and add support structures if needed. Now let's choose the layer thickness. This step is crucial as it affects both quality and printing time. A model in 50 microns will be twice as accurate as a 100 micron model, but it would have the double amount of layers and therefore take twice as long to print. There is an interesting shortcut to get a 3D print straight out of the printer without any lab software. Sprintray users can upload their files directly to the Rayware website and an AI software creates the printable design. By downloading it to the printer, you can start the printing process right away. How cool is that? It is also important to consider the material properties required for the dental appliance. For instance, color, biocompatibility, durability, flexibility, and longevity may vary depending on the appliance's intended use. Choosing the right resin is essential. You might want a dark resin with good contrast for a study model, a semi-flexible transparent material for splints, while you would choose a durable tooth-colored material for printed temporaries or printable hybrid ceramic for final restorations. After deciding on a suitable resin, you are ready to set up the printer. If you're not sure which printer to invest in, watch our video on choosing the right printer. In this case, we're using the resin printer from Sprintray. The printer guides you through the necessary steps to ensure everything is set up correctly. Before you start printing, focus on these three steps. Fill up the resin tank with your preferred material. You can switch between different materials after each print by easily swapping resin tanks. Insert the resin tank with a liquid resin. Use the tank lid to reduce the risk of spills and unwanted exposure to UV light. Ensure the building platform is clean. This is where your object will be constructed. The platform lowers into the resin tank and builds the object layer by layer. Once you completed those steps, you can start the printing process by pressing the start button. After printing, we wash the object in isopropyl alcohol and cure it under UV light. After curing, the technician finishes the printed appliance by removing the support structures, fitting and polishing. Staining and glazing give a unique finish to the provisional or final restoration. 
That's it. Now you have a beautiful 3D printed model or appliance ready for your patient. What kind of dental appliances are you already printing in your clinic? Share your personal experiences in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video.